Hello everybody and welcome to a new series that I'm going to try for a short period of time, which is Project High Rise. I picked this game up a couple of years ago and just kind of dusted it off while I've been stuck here in uh, confinement or lockdown or whatever we want to call this. And I decided I'd give it another whirl. Uh, just to let you all know, uh, the last time I played this was probably uh, two years ago. Two, and a, uh, two years, maybe a year and a half ago, and also uh, I am terrible at this game. I will warn you up front, I am terrible with it. So there's also been some additions and changes to the game that I may not uh, know about, so I do remember a bit about it, but not everything about it. Uh, so it's going to be a relearning experience. Um, for this first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a, uh, a creative mode game. Basically, uh, cash is not going to need to be an issue. I'll still have to unlock things, but of course they'll unlock a lot easier because I don't have to plod along at the slow pace of a true game. The other reason I want to do it at uh, a creative mode with uh, unlimited funds and everything is... Uh, I want to relearn the game. Uh, the What can get you, what can't, and uh, also relearn or learn what has changed because I do remember a lot of micromanagement in this game and I'm really hoping that they've gotten rid of a lot of that micromanagement. So this is by the folks over here at uh, Somasim and uh, Casido. I don't know if it's Casido or Casido or what that is, but... Um, and it's an indie game, uh, and I also understand that, yeah, they have a Project High Rise Las Vegas and then the vanilla. I do not know what the difference is. So we're just going to do Las Vegas because I really enjoy Las Vegas. I haven't been there for over 10 years now. So let's go ahead, we're going to go into a new game. So right off the bat, of course, we're going to change this. It's going to be the Night Tower. It just has to be, right? We're going to make it easy. We're not going to go all the way to Beginner. Uh, lot size, extra large. That's the largest you can get. And we're also going to do uh, Unlimited Funds. Um, we're going to do Advanced. And we can see there are random events. And then there's also Backgrounds, which are strictly, uh, strictly cosmetic. So there we go. All right. So it did stick with that. Yeah, okay. So let's just go ahead and we're going to start. Now the great game runs fairly punchy. I'm going to pause already. So we have our basic little building and right off the bat I'm going to completely redo this thing. Because I have unlimited funds I can put things where I want them. Um, there's also this uh, contracts thing which I really don't need to worry about because they give you funds which I don't need. But they can give me, um, you know, goals to go after. And if I remember, it's right here. Yeah. So, you know, there's basic offices, um, studio apartments, a bit of variety, retail desert, uh, balconies, palatial patios, and on and on and on. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it right now alone and if I remember to come back to this I will so because I have unlimited funds I can rebuild my starting building however I want it would be nice if I could just have nothing at the start uh, maybe I missed it in the options but it would be nice to just say no I don't want anything at the start of the game to give you a full picture uh, here is where we can build um, Actually, if I remember... Oh, actually, if I go into there. There we go. There is our entire building space. So look at that. We can go 20, minus 20, and I think we can go up to 110. Well, 39 right now, but then in the future, with uh, zone limits, we can exceed that 39 stories. So we're going to start with, of course, our little building right here in the building, in the beginning, or in the, ah, in the middle. So what I am going to do is, I don't like where these are at already. My utilities, nor do I like where the, uh, uh, this, uh, this is at. The reason being is, I do have an idea that I want to do from the beginning. I want zero, which is the ground floor, we're going to go European uh, numbering here. Zero is going to be all retail and lobbies and just that. 
There's not going to be anything else on the zero street level. Minus one is going to have a little bit of services. I think you have to put the gas manifold on that floor. You can't put it further down for some reason. But there'll be a little bit of that on minus one. Um, and But mostly it'll be retail. So think of it like, you know, like uh, I want to think of it as if you've been to Toronto where there's uh, the uh, path where you've got all these underground skywalks. Uh, underground skywalks? <laughs> you have the path which just goes underground. Because the other thing I'm going to do is I want to have three towers. I'm going to have a central building here which is going to be mostly office and retail. Maybe a little bit of a, um, a residential or maybe a hotel in there as well. I am going to have a hotel tower. We're going to put that over here. And I'm going to have a residential tower over here. They're not all going to be super tall. So uh, they're you know going to be limited. But then they're all going to be connected underground through this minus one. So let's just go ahead. We're going to get started. So we're going to just go ahead and delete what they gave us to start with. What I do want is in the center of this tower um, I want the elevator um, this might be a bad idea but I do want it in the center so we have to start on the ground level I'm just gonna put it here to start with next of course I want some stairs now I don't need stairs going all the way to the top of the tower it's kind of silly to do that it just takes up space but going down into the lower levels, I am going to have them. But the other thing is, um, I'm also going to extend the uh, elevator down that way too. Uh, but I have to remember the utilities. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build out my minus two. And then I do need to have, so I do need to figure out where my stairwell is going. Because the other thing that I want is, I want the... Um, utilities closets so like my electrical and water closets to be right next to the elevator um, preferably both on one side maybe each one on each side I don't know for certain but I do want them next to the elevator they'll be central and then I can extend out I only need electrical and water uh, but then I need of course also the manifolds them are not manifolds but I need the uh, actual you know transformers or whatever they call these things uh it's just it doesn't even give me a name of what it is so um i don't want these on the on minus one i want them at least on minus two and i want them all kind of grouped together i could also go so far as having electrical on one floor water on another gas on another i could do that if i really wanted to but um i'm not going to get that um, out of control as it were so I don't you don't need an electrical closet on the same floor that you have this guy because when I build it you'll see it will automatically connect to one that's right above or below so if I build this it will automatically connect to this electrical same thing with water same thing with tape cable phone ga uh, gas I think has nope it's HVAC yeah HVAC is the one that must be right here this one minus one you cannot put it on any other floor it must be on that floor so let's just go ahead I'm gonna start and because funds are not an issue we're just gonna go ahead with the large one that has 150 electrical connections so where do I want to put this guy I am going to be consistent I'm just gonna put it right there and you see it has automatically connected so awesome and then I'm gonna go one two three four uh, one two three four I'm gonna prepare for water because that's gonna be the next one everybody asks for then even though I don't have to have an electrical connection on the same floor as it I'm going to because just this is just gonna go all the way up and I guess I can make a decision here I can either bulldoze this which we're gonna do and I'm gonna move this over and now I think about it, I am going to do on either side of the elevator for the electrical closets and the water closets. I'm going to try something new. Normally I have them all on one side. This time I'm going to put them on 
either side. Um, you know, just think of it like the utility closets that are near an elevator, although they'd probably normally be on one side. But alas, we're already 10 minutes in and I haven't even done anything yet. So next thing, I need a stairwell. So stairwell, we're just going to go ahead uh, so my maintenance crew can actually get down here. Um, because, of course, they need to build out this space. So we're going to unpause the game now. We're going to set the... Uh, you only have two options, standard speed and high speed. But you'll see very soon they'll come... R oh, no. It would help if... I put down the darn construction room. There we go. Okay, now we will see very soon. There they are. They're making their way over. Yay! Okay, there we go. So, we, uh, what they'll do is eventually... There we go. They're going to go and they're going to build out first the elevator because they always work on those things that you build out, and then they'll go into building out uh, empty space that you put in. And even though I put this room down, they still had to build out the space that it's uh, occupying. You're just allowed to put some of these down prior to it being finished, and sometimes you have to wait until it's finished. Enough of that. So what do we want in our little building to have? Well, I believe it would be good. Uh, we are going to put a stairwell here. So we are going to have a stairwell going up just one level. We're going to build our second floor. I had to put that down, or I could put an elevator in, but either way you need some way for the construction crew to get up there. Um, so two, level two, or level one, I should say, I want, oh yeah, we lost a whole bunch of money. Um, I want level one to be building, uh, like the management offices and other stuff like that, and maybe a smattering of retail uh, as well. But the thing about retail, especially shops, commercial, these things, is they love being in high traffic areas. So you have to funnel a lot of traffic there. Okay, I'm going to pause for a little bit here. So we're going to actually go up one more floor, and you'll see it'll complain if I unpause the game. They can't get there. Well, that's because I, they don't have a way to get there. I am going to have, I know I said I'm not going to have stairways going all the way up, but for the, like the first three or four floors, I am going to have a stairway available. And then on this floor, too, is where I'm going to start putting some offices and other items. And these folks will get an elevator. And you can see, boom, they immediately go to work on the elevator, and then they'll go back to filling out. So these filling out are always the last thing that occurs. Okay. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start putting in some offices. These are going to be the El Cheapo offices, the tiny little offices that, uh, you know, are going to be like accounting firms and what have you. But I need to expand out a little bit. Yeah, okay, whatever. Everything's more expensive. That's one of those random events they're talking about. Okay. Um... Really quick, I am going to do something else, too. I'm going to bulldoze. So I know I built out all of this. I am going to bulldoze out this, and there's a reason for it. Um, this tower is going to be a little bit unique. I'm going to leave some space here. Um, I don't think I have it yet, but I want to put... Oh, I do have it available. I want to put a bus stop right here. Um, bus stops bring in a lot of people, which is really good. So that takes up one, two, three, four, five, six uh, segments, as it were. So boom, and then we need to start building out one, two, three, four. And then the reason that I'm doing this, one, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. And then here... Um, is I'm putting four in specifically because I want... Um, okay, we can actually just get rid of that. We don't need it. Um, I want to put uh, little food restaurants, tiny little restaurants here right next to the bus stop. And those restaurants will be so happy to have all of that traffic. Now the bus stop is too high. And look at this, you can extend out up to four places from the above floor. And I can actually connect that floor. 
So look at that. Now you'll see they're going to come over here and come up this way, I think. Yep. But they can't get here yet. Why? Well, because we still have to fill this out. So let's go ahead. We're going to two, three, four. And we're just going to continue out. And boom, boom, boom. Okay. And then we are going to need a uh, stairway there so that they can get up here. There we go. Okay. So I'm preparing for a bus stop, but it's not going to go there quite yet because my building isn't large enough for that. Let's actually get down to actually doing something in this building. So we're going to start putting some offices down. Now I need to leave space for my electrical closet. So you just build out a uh, like an unfinished office. Now I have to wait until they finish this. And I'm going to go over two more so I can fit one more office up there. So they finished that, and now they're, they, the way that they get to these is kind of random, but oh well. Uh, we're going to also, I'm going to continue up with the uh, stairs, and we're going to stop here at this point. Now I know at a minimum, offices require electricity, so you have to distribute the electricity um, throughout the entire floor. Uh, or at least to touch one column of that suite. So they will have electricity. Some of them may require phones, some may require cable, some may require water, gas, and HVAC. But at the beginning, they only require electricity. So let's just go ahead, boom, we've got all these office spaces. So now we want to find somebody. So insurance offices, we look and we can see all they need is an electrical line, but they expect copy services. So this is a building service that needs to go in. I can put that down below, or I can put it up above. Building services, under this tab, so they wanted copy services. I could put it right here and just say, you know what, we're done with that. Oh, no, I can't because I need to save the space for the water. So no, I can't put it there. But I happen to leave. That was not intentional. Oh, no, that's where electrical is going to go, so never mind. Okay. So we need to build out some more space. Um, let's do this and this. There we go. So the, we want to put down our copy services. Someone that lives or works in... Yeah, whatever. Don't show this again. Okay. The, the uh, construction workers are complaining that uh, there's nowhere to eat. Well, <laughs> give me a minute, okay? You know what? Fine. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll give them a place to eat, all right? So, like I said, I'm going to put two little places right here. So we have food court restaurants. So we have Quick Gourmet, and they just want electricity. For some reason, they don't want any water. Don't ask. They serve lunch, and the sub shop serves lunch. I'll be honest, I'd rather have a sub shop. So we're going to put a sub shop in. We do need to get electricity to them, even though they're right next to it. We got to do that at least. This guy's going to require electricity when it gets occupied, so you know what? Uh, we will get electricity to that. Um, we'll need an electrical closet on these two floors, unfortunately. So we'll just put an electrical closet there. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that is enough eight. That'll be enough for something, okay. And now we can cover... Whoops, I don't want electrical closets there. I just want that. There we go, okay. So we've got electricity run to all of them. All right, we're going to leave that blank for the time being. Now let's go around. We need to get that copy services in. So we want office, copy services, boom. Um, Hang on, I screwed up. Boom, delete that because I already screwed up. Um, I wanted it there. So now they got to destroy it. Come on, guys. It takes longer to destroy than create, which is kind of funny. Okay, there. Okay, boom. Now there's copy services. And if I remember, they don't copy services doesn't require anything. It just requires electricity. So as you can see, they're complaining already about electricity. Boom. There we go. Okay. Finally, we can get around to putting some offices in. 
So we're going to just put in all they want. They, they're they all happy. If you look over here, I was about to actually point with my finger. <laughs> uh, that doesn't help you guys at all, does it? Our construction workers are going to come up. And they're going to go ahead and start finishing those suites or whatever those office spaces out. And we're going to have our first four tenants move into the building. Isn't that awesome? Great. Okay, and then over here for the restaurant, I would really like to get somebody that serves something other than lunch. But right now, I don't know how to uh, what's going to happen. I think I just have to wait. Because if I have two places that serve lunch, they just kind of compete with each other, and then they get really unhappy about it. All right, it's 8 in the morning, so the first folks should be arriving. And there they are. There's our office drones coming in right now. Excellent. Now, I really should be planning my uh, horizontal growth, my footprint of this building, um, so I don't exceed uh, my other two towers. Uh, but we're doing, you know, at this point, I'm okay. So I'm going to put like the low level stuff down here, accounting offices and uh, what was the other ones that there are there? There's uh, oh insurance offices, I'm sorry, accounting offices. And then these kind of like go up in prestige. So legal offices will go up on f uh, three or I'm sorry, up on four and five and so on and so forth. So, but just to start, we're going to have only the accounting. Uh, what are these again? Uh, insurance agents. Now I can rush getting more, which I'm going to, or you can just wait for more to come in. But I would like to get three more tenants in here. Now I've never done this decline all before. Um, actually, here we go, coffee and breakfast. I forgot I could do something other than food court, derp. So coffee and breakfast, coffee and breakfast, coffee and breakfast. So they're all the same thing. Um, Moon Cash, O Roasters, or is that Zero Roasters, and Red Rock Coffee and Tea. I like Moon Cash Coffee. And they also are paying the highest rent. So they already have their electrical, boom. And as soon as that gets done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm putting in that bus stop. That will bring people to those businesses, as well as bring people to other businesses in this building. So as soon as, there they go, they're done. Boom. And this is all because cash is not an issue, of course. I have some three new insurance offices. Oh, let's go ahead. We're going to bring in them. Always have to check just to make certain you've got everything they want before you actually accept it. Uh, we got everything they want. Good. And everybody has electrical on that floor. Excellent. So we're doing pretty good so far. So while that's all happening, I'm also going to drop in an operations office for the building. And that was not intentional, but look at that. It fits perfectly on my floor one that I was expecting. The reason I want to put that in is it'll give me a larger construction office. Okay. It gives me a larger construction office with more construction workers. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, so economy is heating up as well as the strike has ended. All right, so we got two little restaurants. We've got um, seven accounting offices. I have no idea how much cash we're making, but um, because I got it away, you know, taken away. But yesterday's rent five hundred. Now there's also buzz and influence. Now these usually have to accumulate as the game goes by. I'm going to pause, but because I'm in creative mode, they are just automatically already at. Uh, they just get reset to 10,000 every day. Uh, so what you can do with these is you can unlock additional things, uh, but you have to build the appropriate office first. And the operations, the reason I did that right here, I said new construction office. And then if I want some of these other things, um, it'll tell me what I need to do. And here, I, the only red X there is I need a large construction office. So... And if I put the large construction office in, I would put it down below. So, oh, but it has to be, you can't, um, you can't extend beyond, basically, the floor. Uh, 
whatever. Zero dictates where you go up, and then ne uh, negative one dictates where you go down, aside from... Actually, yeah, that does work. Uh, no, it does not work underground. Okay. All right. So now that I've got that, I want to put in that other construction office. So I want the large construction office, and I miscalculated. I need one more um, unit on either side. There we go. This will give me construction workers, more construction workers, and it just speeds things up when it comes to building. Boom, there we go. Another thing that I will need, and I'm going to start going down now, because, well, no, I can go out, is a maintenance office. Now, a maintenance, uh, or a room, I should call it, because I have the elevator. And it is going to require maintenance eventually, so I need the maintenance staff. Okay, so we got our seven. Um, let's take a look at how they're doing. They had 73 customers. Holy cow! And 54 with four regular customers already. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and get that cons uh, maintenance office in. Where is it? Maintenance office. There it is. That was a yeah. So we're going to put in. And yeah, it's a tiny little thing. Boom. And then I'll get uh, two maintenance workers. So that if things break down, like the electrical or the water or uh, any of these other things, they will uh, go and repair them. All right, folks, I'm going to go up one more flight. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put in uh, one more stairway. And I think going up one, two, three flights, I think that's where I'm going to stop with the stairs. Because the, uh, you know, square footage, as it were. Although, what square footage is there in this building? It's like, this reminds me of Sim Tower, where you have a paper-thin building. <laughs> but anyhow. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, uh, these restaurants, see how they're just doing really well. They'll be very happy with where they're at. So up here, I'm going to go with, uh, so these were, uh, uh, what were these? These are insurance agents. The next floor up, I'm going to make it the, uh, um, what's the word I want to use? The accounting firm. So I, like I said, I am going to stop the stairway. So we're going to go ahead and just put in an extra office there. Now, because... Oh, everybody can use a stairway for the last one. But I am going to go ahead, and we're going to drop the elevator in. Boom. Wouldn't it be funny if in real life you could do that with elevators, too? Maybe you can. I don't know. But Okay, we're going to give them electrical. And just so I don't forget, water, because, again, power... Or, I'm sorry, electric... That Funds are not an issue. We're going to run electrical all the way out there. And we're going to run electrical all the way out there. Now, I believe the accounting offices also want phone lines. So, yep, and they want a courier service. So we need to make certain those are in place. So, let's go ahead. We need a phone. We're just going to drop the big one in. Bam. So you can see now phone service is available throughout the building. Or wherever it, you know, to all the closets. We're going to run phones. I love that sound effect. <laughs> if you're a freak and can tell me what numbers are being dialed, uh, I'll give you extra night points for that, okay? Um, I'm going to expand out just two more, because I want to put one more office on each of these. So that means expanding the electrical out, and up here we're going to need to expand the phone out just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Drop in, drop in. You are going to get the last insurance. You are all set. They also wanted that other uh, uh, accounting. They wanted courier service. So I, like, wow, I've used up a lot of space down here. So let's go ahead. I can't drop an elevator or a stairway there yet. I have to actually do that. Then I can drop down a, a stairway. They're going to go over this way. And I gotta go this way, because I believe 
I do think I do remember this. The courier service requires a phone. No, they only require electrical. How do you place orders without a phone? Whatever. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to give them a courier service down here. So that's under our business courier service. And that is a safe place to put it down. It's going to want... Hey, okay. So we did the hundred uh, 1,000 rent for one day. Okay. We are going to need the wiring closet. Boom. And, of course, you can see it's complaining. It doesn't have electricity. There we go. Excellent. So now that we've got the courier service, we have the phones, let's go ahead. We're going to start getting some accounting offices in here. So courier copy, they got everything they want. Uh, oh, I just advertised for more of those. That's all right. Uh, courier copy, we're all set. Courier copy, electrical. And they don't want phones. I don't know why I thought they wanted phones. Well, this line or this floor has phone lines now. Get some folks in there. Now, the other thing I would like to do is uh, I've got a lunch place. I've got a breakfast place. I do want to get a dinner place, but these seem to be really difficult to get. And I don't know why dinner places are so darn difficult to get. But let's go ahead. I'm going to put in a um, medium restaurant because I think that's where you start getting dinners or dinner places. Um, Although, I said that, but I don't want to put a medium one in and then find out that I still don't have dinner available. We're going to go for it. Boom. Okay, diner. Lunch and breakfast. Lunch and breakfast. Well, if it's a diner, whatever, fast food. Lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. That's good. Sandwich shop. Breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch. Salad and hot bars. Lunch, lunch, and lunch. Pizza place. Come on. Okay, lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. Excellent. All night diner. Doesn't only serves breakfast and coffee. Well, that's kind of silly. Okay, I like pizza, so we're gonna do pizza. Pizzeria Roma. That sounds like a good name. Uh, and I forgot to check what they need but thankfully I can come back over here they want electrical and water well thank goodness one of our restaurants actually needs water I don't know how these guys are washing their hands nor are their dishes so there we go we got water to oh no I don't have water to them <laughs> I need to put in a water boom now they'll have water okay I can't believe I thought they wanted phone. Why did I think they wanted phone? I don't know. Okay. Um, we're going to advertise for more accounting offices. Family Pizzeria. Pizzeria Roma. And I can always rename them. So we can actually do this. Pizza Night. Or Pizza Castle. How's that? Pizza Castle. All right. Miami Sausage Joint. That just sounds wrong. Moon Cash Coffee. How about this instead? We'll call it the Jittery Night. And over here, we've got the Miami Sausage Joint. We'll have the, um, the uh, Miami Sausage Joust. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just being silly. Okay. All right. Well, anyhow. Um, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. That was just a report. Uh, one. Great. Boom. I want to get this building going, man. I want to get people in here. So. All right. Well, um, I could either wait. I could throw some more insurance offices in over here if I really wanted to. Um, I mean, I want to get the building just going. I want it going. So. What else? Uh, I want to look. Aesthetics and politics. So these are those other tracks over here that you can go under. So politics is where you get your height limit changed. And you can also get a subway station in your building, which is pretty darn good, as well as zoning change. So you can uh, 
uh, make your building even larger. Over here, aesthetics is strictly artwork and making your building look nice. Tourism travel is basically all a whole bunch of hotel stuff. We're not getting to the hotel stuff yet. I think I would either do politics or aesthetics next. Probably politics. So if I did that, I would need the uh, lobbyist office. And they have to be above ground or the main floor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop it in right here. Like I said, I wanted floor one to be the management stuff of the building. Boom. So that will unlock the uh, politics for me. Gosh, I hope they're not stealing from these two. Because these two businesses were really happy. I mean, let's be honest, if I was waiting at the bus stop, I'd rather just go, boom, grab a coffee, come back. Or come over, grab a... Uh, a, a sub and jump back over. So, what are you unhappy? I uh, don't know what you're unhappy about. Uh, I got the game going too fast. Here we go. I'd like to relax in a pub after a long work day. Okay. So you're looking for... Okay. Need your maker's mark and what have you. Alright. We're going to advertise from our accounting offices. Super, 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 folks. Alright, where are we at? Boom, two. Okay, well, accounting offices, they, oh, see here, they want a phone line, but look, and they want a phone line. Okay, well, it's a good thing I got phones up there. So, boom, and boom, and let's just verify that I got the phone over there. Yep, I did. Okay, so, yay, there was a reason to bring phones up there. I should have put them over here. And the window edge seats, although this is going to be bumped out a little bit later on. So, and I'm not going to make everything this homogenous. I'm not going to have this like be entirely this for now, uh, especially especially as I go upward. There'll be a little bit more uh, um, diversity on each floor. I'm trying to think of the, the antonym of homogenous, which I can't think of at the moment. Anyhow. Um, what do we have in the way of... Nope, that's a little bit larger. So I'm going to put in... What are these? There are only three. Or I could put in that. I could put in a food stall, but this would fit perfectly. So I've got a lunch and dinner, a lunch, and a coffee and breakfast. There is one more type. I don't know if it competes. This space already... Oh, okay. Um, here we go, the ice cream stand and the smoothie bar. It doesn't have a specific type. It just says, you know, it's just iced blended beverages. And same thing, ice cream is just, you know, ice cream. So, um, I, you know, I, which, which would we want? Do we want, well, they want water, I thought they both want the same thing, yep. So 125, 130, I think at this point it doesn't matter. So do I want an ice cream stand or do I want a smoothie bar? Well, this is a metropolitan area, so I think a smoothie would be the best thing. However, I'm changing it to ice cream, and here's why. I think I have a perfect name because I want it to be, um, instead of Joanne's Frozen Treats, it's going to be the Chili Night. Okay. A uh, neighboring tower has run into some financial difficulties and has had to suspend construction. So the next 36 hours, new floor construction will be 50% cheaper. Okay. Oh, expects tra- Oh, I forgot about that. <gasps> okay. Um, and yeah, they do need electricity. Derp. There we go. I forgot about that. Trash bins. Okay, well, we're going to have to create a space for it. So, boom, boom, boom. Um, trash. Boom. There we go. And then that means I also need a trash collection room. Boom. Okay. I forgot all about that. Yep. Okay. Yeah, see, now I've got 
competition going on here. So rent is too high, we should be paying less. Okay. This is where the micromanagey part of the game comes in. So there's my bus stop worker. I'm surprised I need a, a worker for that. There's my trash guy. Mike. That's true, they all have names. Karen. Stanley. What's your name? Rita. Really? Rita? Okay. Not gonna ask anything. Bernard. Stephen. A. Allen. I almost said alien. <laughs> Anyhow, okay. Let's go ahead and give our construction workers something else to do here. We're going to go out one more. And I think that might be... Because eh, I can go all the way over to here. I can still go out a bit more. This side, I may need to stop. On this side. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. But over here I have a lot more space, I think. Eh, it's the same. Okay, I can go out a little bit on either side. How's that? Alright, do I have any new accounting offices? I have three. And they want a phone line. And they want a phone line. See how the higher rent they expect a phone line, the 130 does not. So these are the gotchas you got to look for. Um, hey, just pick the one with the high rent, and then you find out that, uh, you know, that little surprise that, well, they're expecting a phone line. So, boom and boom. We'll put another insurance office in. So you're fine, and then we'll put in the last of the accounting offices. There we go. Get the electricity all the way out to there. And this guy did not require a phone line, to the best of my knowledge. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, we're 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 doing good. I I don't know what day I'm on. I'm losing a lot of money. We're in creative mode. It doesn't matter. We're in creative mode. Uh, in fact, uh, I am going to. Well, next episode we'll do that. We'll do the public transport, uh, our public transit and some of the other stuff, and with the amount of influence we've got, I could just bam, go straight down if I already have everything that I need. Um, so, this is a good spot to say, hey, you know what, we're, we're gonna end here. Where are we at? We're at 1.20 in the morning. So everybody, I hope you're enjoying this, you'll enjoy this series, and if you want, give the game a try. It's a, it's a fun little game, it's an uh, definite time sucker. Um, or a time void, void, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it it does require a lot of attention. You just have to be constantly watching everything in the game. And I do suck at this game. I'm warning you up front. I am terrible at this game. Okay. So, everybody, hope to see you in the next episode of... Project High Rise here in the Night Tower. So everybody, take care, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.